So actually, this uh, raplet was also prepared. And guess what? I used it with the bitter leaf and sesame seeds, which I already showed us a video of it in the channel, how it is prepared. But that was there before. I do not also suggest, uh, that's the way I said, I started that you should start, you should cook your beans and store in the fridge and be warming it for convenience. Then the same thing with soups. There were, there are a few other, few, just few soups and stews that I can suggest to you that you can do like that without affecting its nutrients and even the taste. But that will be subject for another time, not today. But for today, just note the highlights I gave at the beginning and then at the end of it, that you should also always listen to your body. And it's not all the time, but listening to your body, you'll be accurate. This morning, I wasn't accurate. I went for the banana, whatever, thinking, okay, because when you have experienced any form of stress and you are trying to, thinking of food that will help, banana and cashew nuts are very good combinations that helps. When you take it in little amount, I'm searching, okay, you know what I mean? When you take little amount, it helps to, because, of the easy digestibility of the banana, but you must not take too much. It's a source of B complex and helps to calm the brain and the body, give you energy and then calms your body. But when you take it and you do that thing which you think or believed was okay for you at that material time, and if after it, your body seems not to be okay, well, you may tell me that you can force it. It depends on you. And I think we all have our individual ways we also do or handle our own cases. But in this matter, that is just how I normally, I've tested a lot of ways that didn't work. And so the ones that worked is what I'm sharing with us. You take the food as much as the body, guess what is looking for to work. The hunger is going to stop. And when it stops, like in my own case, maybe in the next six or seven hours before the next meal, which is okay. But if you haven't taken what you need, you'll be pinching here and there. It will be affecting the blood sugar, the nerves, be stressing the body, with too much food up and down every minute you'll be eating little 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 everywhere some people say they prefer it but i don't once you eat let it stop let the stomach rest let the digestive organs rest let the mouth rest and let everywhere take a rest because digestion is not an easy job even though we eat the body is working to convert it to energy, to convert it to the usable uh, point, it's not an easy task. So we should not take it uh, for granted that it's something that we should just, you know, be consuming food at intervals. Every moment we are chewing something, we are eating something. It's, it's not a, my own uh, health way. So, in summary, you can see today the seeds on ripe plantain with the vegetable after taking the coffee. Guess what? Tomorrow, I don't know what you should be able to, maybe you can guess in the comment section, but I assure you, try to make it tomorrow because. I shall be giving you more tips on how you can stay healthy naturally. Thank you for watching and keep staying healthy. 
naturally till I come away again.